Hi, I'm Gio, and this is, is Massimo, and we're the Bug Brothers. And today we are going to be talking about the alligator lizard, the southern alligator lizard. And they call it uh, the southern alligator lizard because of the bony plates on their on the top of their head. Let's see if you guys can see there the top of their head right there. Let me there. You guys can see the bony plates. Yeah, they have big plates on their body, like alligator lizards, so that's why they call it a southern alligator lizard. And they have very strong legs in the back because when they're moving through the grass, they're not going to have that much grip because it's like grass in it. And, and it's very... um. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, they have strong muscles in their back legs. Mossy. And um, if Gio picks it up, um, and and he picks it like that, they have the bottom of their their um body is very slick, so they can move through bumpy surfaces. And like Gio said, they have strong legs to push push and they it's very slick so they can go through the um bumpy areas very easy like the rocks very smooth and easy if you want to see what it looks like and it looks very like all right let me see if i if i can get you to see their tongue see let see if you can Get me to smell. Show them, show See, them he's down. smelling me. Show them the bottom, Gio. Show them the bottom. There we go. And they they also have a very slick bottom. Let me see. It's Can like you guys see it? Right, yeah. Right there, they have very it's a very slick bottom. So if it's if they're if they're if they're what? walking through very um like pokey pokey shrubs. They're very pokey shrubs. The the plated um, bottom of their stomach is not gonna hurt them at all. And they will lunch at their prey. And they will wrap their tail around to balance themselves. If they're if it's like a very slick, like a very slick a stick, it's like a very um, slippery branch they use their tail to balance where where they store fat for the winter and and they and they bite the their they bite the if there's a grasshopper on the stick they will get it and bite it Show show them the your uh, what you got on your finger from the from the spike. It's extremely painful. I don't know if you can see, but it's very painful, and that's where it is. You can see it has like a very dark reddish color from the blood because it did it did bleed um, pretty bad. Uh, let's go see how it how it moves around on the grass. Yeah. And when it moves through the grass, it moves like a snake. It comes from, it comes from, like, the, it comes from the, oh, it comes from the outside. It comes from nature. You see, it comes from nature. Um, I I think you would find these guys like they they like leaf litter. So I uh, if you guys are looking for some of these, and this you one, would and you this would one, be looking. Um, and this one we found we found it um at this at um the woods I think. The woods, we find it at the woods. 
and hey, you guys, you guys would usually see these um sleeping in. What? They, these guys, you would usually find them sleeping in leaf litter, under logs, hanging in trees, or hunting. And they to tell which things they don't they they don't eat is um the uh, things with hair things with hair or pokey spines on them like or a, with with a stinger or or um very sharp jaws those are the things that you that you don't want to feed these or else they will they will release their tail and then it will grow back though but it it won't grow as long as it was mm -hmm. back and and it, will, it won't have the, its color. It's just going to be, like, grayish black. Okay. And, and, um, what was I going to say? If they release, if they release their tail, um, the, oh, yeah, the longer their tail is, the, the more they climb. The more they climb. Because they wrap their, their, their tail around the branches and if their tail releases, then they won't climb so much because they don't have a long tail to wrap around. But it'll still, it'll still be like uh, up to like right here. And uh, you, these guys would usually eat crickets, small birds, eggs, um, arthropods, which are worms slugs snails all that gross stuff and so these are good to have in your garden so yeah. none of those things are eating your plants and um they will eat um the they will eat this beetle that's called a june beetle and they are orange and they're called june beetles like i said and they also eat, will eat small mammals like, for example, like shrews, uh, elephant shrews, mouse, mice. Because these guys can grow up to be a foot, a foot, a foot and a half long. And they will eat baby birds. I said that. No, you didn't. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. All right, I, I, I'm pretty sure that's it. So, see you next time. Bye. Bye. We're the Bug Brothers. See you on our other videos. Bye. That is the, that is the end of this.